Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard. Today I'm gonna talk about this, the Ishin Novice Beginner FPV Kit. First of all, this comes in a really nice bag you can put on, it has a strap and... Hey, Ishin is really thinking about his products. Nice package. This kit is about $100 and it comes with everything you need to fly your first FPV drone. It comes with goggles, a radio and the drone. The goggles are Ishin VR005, actually it doesn't focus but trust me on, <laughs> on my word. They are small, really small, they are the smallest box goggles I ever tried actually. You turn them on, they have an integrated battery, you charge them with 5 volts, turn them on and the screen is not bad actually, it's totally flyable, of course it's not HD or anything but I can navigate with them, okay? And they are not super comfortable and they give you some rubber pads you can put to protect your nose but still I have a big face and there is a ton of light leakage from the side you see I can fit my finger through it on both sides and this is not good because when you fly outside you see light coming through and hitting your screen is not the best but I think you can put some foam on them reception is good and I mean they are really really cheap you can complain they're fine okay, let's talk about the radio radio is controller size very small and I think they recycled it from some of their other drones because you see this is a phone holder but there is no use case in this scenario I mean if you have an FPV screen you can put it here it's very useful but I don't see why <laughs> this radio should have this otherwise reception is good and uh, you have to put your own 4 AAA batteries very plasticky, it's really lightweight and plasticky the worst part about this, this radio are the gimbals because they, they are analogs and nobody in the FPV is flying with analogs everybody is flying with pointy sticks so you have a lot more control, you see? I'm used to fly with, fing with my fingers this far from the radio I have an X-Lite and I'll show you the difference right now. Here you have a lot of precision, a lot of control when you fly your drone. Here, first of all, it's slippery. It slips when you, while you fly, so you have to press hard and down. And second, there is not much room to move your fingers, so all the movements are really robotic and clunky. But I have a solution for this, because luckily the sticks are removable and I'll design some nice 3D printed extensions you can use on this. Now let's talk about the nice thing, the drone. The drone is awesome actually. 
it's like a Mobula 7 of course it, it shares something like the the frame is the same I guess these motors are uh, happy model motors Runcam camera Runcam VTX it, it's really a nice drone for 100 bucks you get the drone that 100 bucks already and then you get free stuff like a remote and uh, mm, goggles this drone takes 1S and 2S batteries on 1S it's fast it's nice to fly and on 2S it's a rocket it really goes super fast you're curious to see how it flies well I'll show you using these goggles and using these goggles to record DVR because these goggles don't have DVR So, now that you've seen how it flies with the stock gear they gave you, I'll show you one thing. I paired it to my X9D radio and my goggles. Perfect. You saw how it flies with the regular remote and with my pro remote. Now I wanted to show you something. So I 3D printed these stick extensions and I will put the file on Thingiverse. It's like 20 minutes for both of them. Really easy print. And this should give me a lot better control with this remote. And if you print them you can cut any length you want so you have an adjustment on the height because I figure this is a little bit tight but I just want to see how much better the flight is with these ones So, wrapping it up, radio mm, could be a lot better, goggles, goggles are nice, I like them, they are cheap but you can totally use them, the screen is nice, it's not really HD, it's really low resolution and I noticed it because my HD goggles they are like 720p and I can really see the camera everything here you can't but they're good enough I like them maybe change the antennas because these dipole antennas are not the best but other than that the battery is integrated charges via micro USB small I like them now talking about the real star of the show this drone the Ishin Novice is really nice I love it 
I will fly it with my regular stuff because it's a great flyer. It's fun to fly indoors with 1S and it's fun to fly acro outdoors with 2S. You can even race on it. It's and yeah. It fell down, but as I was as I was about to say, I crashed a lot today and this thing doesn't have a scratch. This is a nice drone for a beginner and even for an advanced pilot who just want to have fun because this is a nice whoop. I would recommend it even stand alone without the other stuff they give you. I'm gonna go inside because it's November and it's getting cold and it's getting night. So have a nice flight. Goodbye.